Now that you've created your first zaps, we'll show you how to check whether they're working correctly. Every action your zap completes successfully is called a task. Tasks are only associated with actions and anything that passes successfully through a filter step or a path. You'll learn more about those later. So let's say we built a zap where our Slack status changes when a new Google Calendar invite begins. Google Calendar is the trigger. Slack is the action. When our zap changes our Slack status, it counts as one task. Tasks are never associated with triggers. It's important to really understand tasks because Zapier plans have limits. Whichever plan you're on determines the number of tasks you have available to use. When you approach that limit, you'll get an alert. Now, if your Zap isn't firing like it's supposed to, don't worry. Zapier keeps a log of all your tasks in your task history. Here, you can investigate the issue and make any changes. Access your account's task history from the menu bar. You can see your list of active zaps organized by how many tasks each zap has used and the number of times your zap has encountered an error. Click on an individual zap to see a rundown of tasks your workflow attempted. Click on an individual task to view more details. If your zap encountered an error, you can see where the error occurred and why. So if you're trying to figure out why your zap is hitting an error, or you just want to make sure your zap is turned on, check your task history. With a little investigating, you can ensure you're automating successfully.